Good morning, darling. How's my favorite person? It is Tuesday, March the 20 something. Don't remember exactly. <laughs> I think Friday's the 29th. So that being 28, 27, 26 maybe today? March 26th. So, as you know, Tuesday, Thursday, personal training. Heading to do that. I got some pre-workout here. So, I've never tried much pre-workout before. Um, I don't know why I haven't. I just really haven't for some reason. So, I'm trying one. It's okay. It tastes kind of chemical-y, though. Um, it's just the watermelon... Uh, on nutrition, O N, something like that. I got it at the grocery store, you know, uh, just trying something new. So, what I'd love is if you give me some good recommendations on pre workout that you like. If you use pre workout, um, this one, of course, has like caffeine, it has some amino acids and stuff, which I guess is supposed to help my muscles. I don't know, y'all. I'm still very new to all of this stuff, but give me some good recommendations. I'd love them. Yeah, Phew. it's got a definite chemical taste to it, without a doubt, which it could be something in my cup that's making it taste more chemical than it should, because I feel like I drink it once before and it didn't taste as chemical-y, or I mean, I know I drank it once before and it didn't taste this chemical -y, so I don't know, might just be my cup has something in it. They're getting ready for a festival or a concert or something. I'm trying to down the rest of it. Yeah. I'm not in love with that one. And I don't know about y'all, but I can't force myself to, like, drink or eat things I don't like. Um, you know, you got to try. Sorry, I'm going to plug you up. You got to try different things <clears throat> in order to know if you like them or don't like them. So, I don't mind wasting a little money to try them. But, um, once I buy them, if I really don't like it, I'm not going to just keep it and force myself to have it. You know? So, I might drink this one a time or two again until I, um, sorry, I'm paying attention to what this 18-wheeler is doing. Oh, okay. I don't know if you're trying to let me go or what. Okay. Um, sorry. I forgot my train of thought. <laughs> You know me, I'm paying attention to me driving like I should be. This is the only time that y'all come second, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna get over here. Lots of traffic happening today. Oh, goodness gracious, all of a sudden everybody stopped. Goodness gracious. So today we got personal training and that's all that I'm running out to do. Everything else is work at the house. Um, my assistants got something they are doing over the next like weekend kind of. Um, they've got a trip they need to do and so we're starting with the working remote stuff. Um, 
We've done it like I think a time before. I can't remember what exactly was going on, but we're starting with the re working remote stuff. So that's exciting. That means that she's doing good enough where she's gotten trained on stuff. She's feeling comfortable. Um, it's going really good. I'm really, really happy with the way things are going, y'all. You do not know. I mean, I'm sure some of y'all can probably relate like if you're working somewhere and you get help it just god it feels like such a relief or if some of y'all are small business owners like myself and you hire people and it's like at first it makes it a bit more difficult but once things start rolling it's just like you feel like you can breathe again you know you feel like you feel accomplished you feel satisfied you feel fulfilled you feel like things are happening and it feels so good so so good so that's just another step we're taking on our very long journey in order to make things better and it just makes me so happy so so happy it makes me happy to have a partner to help with these things and that's what it is. It's a partner in my, you know, online journey. It's really, really nice. And it makes work more fun when you have a friend to do it with, too. <laughs> so, what else is going on? Oh, y'all, I was so excited this morning. So, if you know anything about the online creator community when it comes to, like, are us creators that do like the spicy sites a lot of us draw inspiration from each other um it's just how we decide things we want to do how we grab your attention like we feed off each other we see what other creators are doing in the industry and we take inspiration from them um to me that is such a compliment when I see other creators being inspired by me. Now, I do see every once in a while creators getting upset about it, saying, oh, you know, you shouldn't copy me, blah, blah, blah. I don't agree with that at all. I, I think it is the hugest compliment when people try to copy you, whether it's something I'm wearing, the way my hair is, um, videos I make, styles I do anything it is such a huge compliment that somebody likes when I'm doing enough that they want to try to do it I love it. it makes me so happy and so incredibly flattered um so I had been scrolling through Instagram to find other spicy creators like myself and I found this one a couple weeks ago or I don't know a little while ago and she was the cutest little thing she makes me laugh so hard with her videos I mean, so hard. She does the funniest things. Um, her name is Queen... Oh, dang it. What is it? Queen Gwen, maybe? Queen Gwen? Queen... Oh, shucks, y'all. I can't remember it. But if you go to my Instagram... Or no, sorry. If you go to my Twitter, I talked about it on my Twitter. And I wrote her name on there. I didn't... I didn't see that she had a Twitter, uh, so I didn't link her, but I did write her name on there. But anyway, okay. So I found her, I thought she was cute. I was actually laughing with my assistant yesterday at one of her videos, cause we thought it was so funny. And then I'm scrolling this morning and I see she's in front of the mirror, in overalls, no shirt, and talking about owning a trucking company. Of course, she doesn't own a trucking company, or I don't think she does. If she does, that's amazing. But it's because she was copying the video, one of my viral videos about me owning a trucking company and some guy being interviewed by me. And I'm like, she did one of my videos. <laughs> and it just made me so happy that this creator that I had found and loved had actually found me and loved me enough to copy my stuff. It just, it made my heart flutter. It made me giggle, made me so happy. And I gotta stop talking to y'all cause I'm almost at my place, but I'll tell you more about it in a minute. <laughs> All right, y'all, I am back. So back to 
to what I was telling y'all. I can't remember exactly what I, I told you, but the gist of it was I was telling you about that cute creator that redid one of my um, real, real shorts, whatever. And I just find it so flattering that they did. So that means, you know, they were scrolling. They saw my content and they're like, oh, that's doing good. I want to use something like that. And they were inspired by what I did. And it just really made me feel good, you know? It always makes you feel good when someone sees something you are doing and they want to imitate it, um, use it as inspiration, that kind of thing. And, you know, like I told y'all, I do know some creators, for some reason, get upset when other creators copy them. But me... I find it very flattering. Even if the creator is copying like word for word, outfit I was wearing, all those shucks. Why are you in the middle of the road, Mr. FedEx guy? Goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> but even if they are copying word for word, all that stuff, I find it very, very flattering. Um, yeah, so. I take it as a super compliment and uh, y'all need to check out my Twitter and check out that creator because in my opinion there is enough fame clout money um, subscribers followers to go around for us all to use um, I do not gatekeep I don't um, I don't, um, like, get jealous, I guess, about other creators. That's not really the right thing to, that's not exactly how I want to describe it, but, like, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, you can only follow me and no one else. No, I want y'all to find these other creators and follow them and subscribe to their stuff and enjoy it. Just because you subscribe to my OnlyFans doesn't mean you can't subscribe to three other or 30 other girls OnlyFans, you know? I want y'all to find these other creators and enjoy their content because I do. I don't just watch one person's, um, you know, I wanted to say the P word, but the, I can't. I don't watch just one person's adult videos. I like subscribing to lots of creators and like I said there is enough money to go around I want to uplift other creators I do not need in order for me to be lifted up I don't need to bring other people down that's not the right way in order for me to be lifted up I want to lift others up just like when I come up I want to bring other people up with me I don't need to push people down in order for me to come up. I want to bring other people up. I want to up, uplift other women. Uplift other, other men, too. But also, you know, the majority, or not the majority. Well, I guess the majority of people in this industry are a lot of women. Um, so, I want to do what I can to encourage, inspire, uplift, um all those positive things to the other women I find in my industry because I love it. It makes me so happy. <laughs> so yeah, that's my, my take on it. I don't know. It made me happy. I even, I like sent her a little DM and she'll, she probably won't see the DM because I don't look at my DM. So she probably doesn't because I'm sure she gets hundreds and hundreds every day, just like I do. Um, so, but I sent her a little DM like, I saw your video. It made me so happy. Thank you so much for using me as inspiration. You know, I love your content. So, yeah. Maybe she'll see it. Maybe she won't. I don't know. But I did comment on it. I'm like, oh, this is so cute. I love it. <laughs> so, hopefully she'll see it. And it'll make her happy. And it's just a big old happiness circle, huh? <laughs> There's too much sad stuff going on in the world. Difficult things going on in the world. I just want to bring joy to people. I just want to bring happiness to people. Like I said, I just want to lift other people up. There is enough sad, bad, 
stuff happening. I want to be part of the solution, not the problem. That's my, that's my idea on it all. That's my take. And I'm going to strive every day to do the best I can. I am not perfect. I make mistakes every single dang day. But I sure am going to work hard to do the best I can to make the best impact on this earth I can. So, yep, that's my preaching for the day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I sure hope I do bring joy to y'all's life, though. My hope is these videos I give you let you get to know me better. They make you smile. I make you caught card. And just bring happiness to your life joy whether it is a oh that guy doesn't have brakes on his trailer uh joy whether it is a sexual way or whether it is a humor way or any of these things that i bring joy to your life in one form or another that's what i hope joy and maybe maybe a feeling of being understood too I hope that too that um, I make you feel oh, okay I was like why are people not going I hope that I make you feel understood when it comes to like some of the struggles I go through that y'all can relate um, like I'm putting out a video today which it won't be the day this video comes out, but today, Tuesday, March 20, whatever it is, uh, I think it's the 26th, about friendship. Um, how, you know, I'm struggling on making some friends. I'm doing good on making some, but some I've made and they just don't like me, I guess. Stuff like that. And so, I put out a video about that, hoping that y'all can relate to it, that you can um, you know, see what I'm going through, understand what I'm going through, and feel connected to someone that's going through the same thing you are, maybe, or that you've gone through before, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I want you to feel seen, heard. That's another thing. I want you to feel like I hear what you want, um, like I take into account what you want to see from me. Uh, there's a lot of things I want you to see and feel from me. All of them good. <laughs> Alright. Please don't run the yellow red light. What else is going on today? Not much. It's becoming a beautiful day out, so that's really nice. It's starting to warm up some, which is good. I'm ready for the nice, warm weather. Not hot. I ain't ready for that yet. <laughs> and I know it's going to get there because we're in the south. But I'm ready for the nice, warm weather. I'm ready to bring out my cute little summer spring clothes. I'm working on getting those out and looking all cute for y'all. I have got to find some bikinis, y'all. I did a swim, swims, oh my god, a skims try on haul and none of the bikinis from skims really fit me all that great. There was only like one bottom that fit good and the rest didn't fit good. So if y'all know of any good places to get bikinis from, let me know because I need to find some places. Because I desperately need some cute bikinis. And also, more bikinis I get, the more try-on hauls I can do for you. And I know y'all like those. <laughs> Alright, darling. So, I um, park down here because I got to get my mail and all that stuff. But, another day gone. Or, gone because this is the last video I'll make today for you. But, um... I hope you're having a wonderful day and 
don't forget you're absolutely 100% worthy of all the positive things happening in your life and if there aren't positive things happening in your life and you feel like it's just all negative like if because we all go through those times where we feel like nothing but bad's happening and sometimes life is like that that it will get better that sometimes you got to get the rain before the sunshine sometimes it's got a storm before the flowers grow and I know all that sounds so corny but it's true and when I'm going through hard times that's what I remind myself of is we wouldn't appreciate the good without the bad even though the bad fucking sucks we wouldn't appreciate it if we didn't have it so if you're going through a hard time I love you and if you need somebody to listen you know where to find me okay you can message me on my paid sites. And if you want to message me, but you don't want to see my nude photos, then what you got to do is just go to my free OnlyFans. And you just tip to message. I think you can tip as little as like a dollar to three dollars. I can't remember. Something like that. But that's how you message me. Don't believe any of these scammers out there. I don't have a WhatsApp account. I don't have a Telegram account. I don't have none of that to message anyone. I don't message on any social media. Don't believe these people, okay? Because they will try to fool you. The only place I message on is my paid sites. Because I respect the people that pay their hard-earned money in order to be able to message me freely as much as they want for a month. They pay that $13.99 subscription. So I respect that. And I'm not going to give away what they pay for for free. Okay? So you can contact me on my paid sites. Or tip to message me on my free site. But <laughs> I'm throwing my glasses at you. If you ever need a, an ear, I'm here. Okay? Alright, baby. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you tomorrow.